Gonna bring down cheap shot. Yes. Okay, okay, look at that big guy over there. See that guy? That's our target. We're gonna cheap shot him. Oh, come here, come here. Let your other guys get in range. Boom! Cheap shot! What's up, suckers? Have you ever wanted to multi-box in World of Warcraft, but you were afraid of being banned? You will be! But it doesn't matter if you are on free accounts. You're probably not going to get banned, honestly, even on, even on paid accounts. Multiboxing is much more fun with illegal multiboxing software like HotKeyNet. And I'm going to teach you how to do it. All right, how do you get started multiboxing in five minutes? Well, first go to the GitHub link in the comments and go to this green code button and say, download zip. Bam! You're going to download five minute multiboxing and you're just going to pop it open. You're going to go into it. You're going to go into it through the first directory and you're going to drag this Fury Swipe Simple. Don't even do that. Just go into Fury Swipe Simple. Here is your World of Warcraft retail directory. You're just going to highlight everything and you're going to drag it and drop it in your World of Warcraft directory. It's not going to hurt anything. This is just my stuff. I won't overwrite any of your stuff. You're going to get everything you need there. And the first thing I want you to do is open up X mouse controls. You're going to activate window tracking at 30 milliseconds right now. that's what I got it tuned to. And you are going to edit your five minute multiboxing HKN retail sample text file. This is the sample file. You're going to go in here. You're going to edit only two things. You're going to go here and you're going to edit the path to your wow dot exe the path to your world of warcraft executable then you're going to go down a bit and you're going to put in all your free email accounts that you open up for blizzard to give you um the free accounts and you're going to put in your passwords right as soon as you're done with that you save this out and you are going to now you're going to pop open hotkey net And there it is. And you're going to load the uh, retail file that you just edited. You're then going to go into interface, add-ons, Fury Swipes, 5-minute multiboxing. You're going to edit this file, Fury Swipes 5MMB.Lua. And you're going to change all the names to the names of your characters. Okay? The names of your characters. The names have to be capitalized. The... Um, the punctuation has to be exactly like this. Don't change anything. Now, if your characters happen to reside on different servers than each other, in the invite list, they're gonna need to know that. When they send out invites, they're gonna need, need to know what server um, that they are on. So if they're on Arthas, and one guy's on Nathrazim, uh, you need to add dash Arthas, dash Nathrazim to their invite names. All right, save that out and you are done. You are ready to multibox. As soon as you are finished with that, you're going to turn scroll lock on. Scroll lock is the on off switch to multiboxing. You see that light? Oh, yeah. I'm multiboxing. I'm not multiboxing. I'm multiboxing. I'm not multiboxing. Okay. I'm multiboxing. I'm going to hit Control Alt M, and HotKeyNet will pop open your WoW windows for you. Now, this will not work if you don't have WoW set up to be windowed. So, before you do this, Go into WoW one time and change it to windowed and make it a, a lower resolution, like 1920 by 1080. And then leave WoW, exit WoW, and then try this, okay? You should, at this point, have made characters on the server you want, on the free accounts, so that you are ready to multibox as soon as you get in the game. Now, make sure that all of your guys can adventure on Exiles Reach together. This is really important because 
Exile's Reach is different from any start zone you've ever seen before, you can group on free accounts. All right, now you can choose any type of characters you want to start off with. You can even choose five Tauren rogues to be the most ridiculous group you could possibly imagine, but all the characters can be different classes. Doesn't matter in multiboxing, you can make anything work. But we're gonna go with five Torn Rogues, and now you're going to do another multiboxing move. You're gonna hold the tilde key down, and you're going to click Enter World. Now, if you get to a cutscene, if you ever get to a cutscene, you don't wanna see cutscenes, so you just hit Escape, and then you tilde click, yes, and you're all done. Now, the first thing you're gonna do when you log into the world is you're gonna hit Control I to set up all the multiboxing buttons. You're not gonna see any or many of them right away because this is the simplest multiboxing system I could ever put together. I mostly stay out of your way. The only thing I give you r right to begin is a party up button so you can make your party. Let's use tilde click to get this tutorial out of the way. We're gonna tilde click okay. And then we are going to hit the equal sign or just click on this macro and you have your group together. Now, on this boat to start off with, some of you guys might get phased. It's a pain in the ass, no big deal. On the boat, you pretty much have to one at a time it. The first thing I'm gonna teach you is the most wonderful multi-boxing button and that is the F key. Just select the quest giver and hit FF a couple of times. Everybody's gonna go to the quest giver. Now, your main guy where your where your mouse is, your main guy is not gonna is not gonna run over to anybody because that kind of gets in the way of multiboxing. So you run your main guy over yourself. Everybody hits F except notice the phased guy is kind of screwed over. The phased guy has to run over by himself and hit F himself. Now we have uh, another quest they're going to give us and it leads to the end of the sequence on the boat which is great. We're going to go over here and we're going to complete this quest with FF. Now we're going into a cutscene we're going to escape out of and we're going to hit tilde click and we will all be together on the beach, not phased, with murlocs. Alt 4 makes everybody follow. We're gonna hit FF. Now everybody gets the quest. Beautiful. That guy did not accept. Come on, let's go get our, now we're all rogues. And we go to the next, we go to the next Murloc. Not used to these, uh, having the key on one. Everybody loot, FF, next Murloc, one key. That's where they put it. It's not where I would have put it. One key, one key over here. This guy, one key. Oh, there they go. Okay, FF on any of the bodies. Everybody will loot the bods. And we are done. We have too many first aid kits. Let's go down and turn it in as rogues. And you are multi-boxing, people. FF. Now I'm going to show you a, a multi-boxing trick. We have a quest to um, use the bandages on the beach. So what we're going to do is... We're gonna go to the small windows and we're gonna tilde right click. Now look, everybody tries to use the bandage. This guy, your main guy, was a little bit misaligned, so he didn't bandage. That's all right, you can go hand click that guy. We're gonna walk up to this guy. We're gonna to go to a small window, tilde right click, boom. They all use the bandage. Your main window was kind of misaligned because of the view. That's all right. And the last guy, tilde click, tilde click your main. And everybody is done. Everybody is going to FF. 
We are going to complete quests. Again, you should probably invest in a... Um, you should probably invest in a quest auto-completer, an equipment auto-equipper. I know I'm forgetting to tell you guys a lot of stuff because it's all just kind of coming back to me as second nature. Just ask questions in the comments. Somebody will explain it. Alt 4 gets everybody to follow. I think I did not spend enough time on that. She's my daughter. Uh, we're going to go kill some animules. When I have all melee, I like to kind of run past. So the other guys are right next to the uh, target. And um, then I hit attack. You see how I did that? This is multi-boxing 101. Now five rogues, they can do a lot of quick damage. All right, one of the fun keys I give you is this F12 key. It makes everybody form a line. Let's you see your guys. Ah, oh, isn't that nice? And then we say left face. Look at that. They're all ready to go. They're sneaky Torin rogues. And one of them has not finished his um, next quest. So I'm going to turn multiboxing off. And I'm going to run him over here. And I'm going to have him finish his quest individually. And my guys back there are going to just stand around and look super good. The best thing to do on quests like this is just to turn multiboxing off and run your guy over and have him do the quest by himself. Otherwise, it gets really confusing. These quests are individual to each tune, so that's why you have the multiboxing switch. You turn it off, and you go um, do his quest by himself. One tip I can give you on this Exile's Reach sequence is if you run over here, you get a treasure chest for everybody. And you can have everybody click the treasure chest at the same time by tilde right clicking. Um, and if you get lucky, they will all just click at the same time. They get experience, they get a bunch of loot. You got loot in your bags. All right, here we are. A bunch of torn rogues with nothing better to do than kill things. Boom! Vaporize things. Absolutely. You want to you wanna kill stuff? Let's do it. <clears throat> Don't forget, you just tilt a click on, you just FF on any of the bodies and everybody loots. Let's, let's try stealthing. Let's try stealthing. Uh, you know what? I'm going to actually change it. I'm going to put shit stealth in one. I'm going to move everything over a little bit. Stealth in one and move everything over. Get rid of stealth and shift one. Um, and we're going to hit the uh, one key. Now we're all stealthed. Oh, yeah. Let's go kill somebody. Oh, sneaky, sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky. Hey, do we have... Do we have some stealth things we can do? Do we have ambush? We have cheap shot. Require stuff. All right, I'm going to put cheap shot. We'll open up with cheap shot. To whoever we, uh, whoever's ass we kick. Oh, come here, come here. Let your other guys get in range. Boom! Cheap shot! That's right. Okay. We killed a bunch of stuff. We're going to FF on it. Loot everything. Everybody looted. Okay, we're going to stealth again. Yeah, yeah, this is good. This is good. Cheap shot! That's right. FF on the bodies. Everybody pick shit up. And we're going to go run up to it. And we're going to click on it all at the same time. So is this little hunter guy. He's not in our party. Clickety. Oh, they all hit it and they all leveled. Wow, that was pretty damn good. Try multiboxing once in your life.
like being skinny, it's really fun. And it's all free. Also like being skinny. Later on, suckers.